a $4,000 laptop bought four years ago is a dinosaur in today's electronic landscape. This one is not only a dinosaur, but it's a dead one at that. The tech hunter wants to know, should he even bother repairing it? When on the computer, there is no distress at all. First of all, we need to identify whether the adapter is okay or not. Okay, now the current come in, that's which means the adapter's current is okay. But uh, this uh, notebook not seem to display anything. Uh, first step is you need to check the RAM, whether the RAM is short the motherboard or not. If let's say the RAM check still okay, I 90% is related to the mainboard already. You need to check whether this uh, the mainboard okay or not. We just uh, press a key and see whether it got sound out. If the sound out, uh, which means the motherboard is okay. But it seems now I press and the key, anyhow touch the key, it not seem to working. So this 90% is a mainboard problem. My worst fears have been realized. Motherboard problems rank as one of the costliest problems to have. Boon Leong calls in his go-to repair guy to take it apart for me. Thirty-year-old Hang Jian has been in Singapore for the past five years. Originally skilled in television repairs, he has since diversified to computers since there's more demand there. Hang Jian, you just now opened, then now how do you want to repair? 我要测的是，好像你的这个主板呐、啊，它有一些基本的工作的电压了，能要测这些电压存存在不存在。For those not in the know, the multimeter you see here is used to troubleshoot electronics by measuring voltage, current, and resistance. 哪一个是那个主要的工作？一个是你要给 CPU 给电的啦，这个是第一个，另外一个是给你的内存给电的，这几个。能多的一个是呃，它的一个基本的工作电压就是三伏五伏这些啦，能有没有正常咯 ？The diagnosis has been done, and I bet you're just as anxious as I am to find out what the problem is and how much we can get. Well, I might be a bit more anxious than you are. 可以跟我们讲有什么问题吗？像你这种机子哈、哦，因为它的 CPU 啊，它是直接焊在板上面的。人不像有些机型，它是有一个座的，那种 CPU 座可以拿出来的，所以这种焊在板上面的那种 CPU 很容易虚焊的，就是因为它发热嘛。人你用时间久的话，它的焊点会分开掉了。如果我们想要修理的话，差不多多少钱呢？您觉得？这种因为要作为一个 BGA， 就是 CPU 你要拿下来重新再做，所以要看你的板的时间性呢、啊。因为时间用很久的话，有的板它的焊点很难焊。所以可能你要多做一次还是两次，所以你通常做一次的话，应该是百出这样的。如果会呃两次还是三次这样的，会贵稍微贵一点。扣有折扣的了啊，对对对。如果我们要卖呢？通常像这种坏的机子，我们收大概是一百两百这样的，看你的机子的啊、呃、配置好还是坏。So now we know it costs about a hundred to repair, and if we sell it for scrap, it also costs about a hundred. Let's see as we go around the rest of Simlim and see if we can get a better price.